Hey guys, Tara here. Welcome back to the match of the Rocket League Championship. This time, match 33 up against the Express. So only this game and three others until we get to the playoff places. And the Express are in also in the top six. They're below us, I think. So we need to beat them to ensure that we get a, uh, in theory, easier team start. We've got an open goal. I missed that really, but then again. I wasn't really playing on that being a shot towards the goal anyway, he's safe for the match. But Wolfie you though know, gets the uh, the goal out of that, that I missed the open goal, but for my shot, like I said, I wasn't really expecting to get anywhere near the goal. But yeah, it ended up hitting a while. I think they hit it into Wolfie, just come steaming in. He was just committed to that actually working. And then uh, well GG Wolfie. And that's one us one nil up now after twelve seconds of the match. Flying off right now, can we get a first touch? Well we do and the ball comes into our side. It's not the best start in the world. And now is, is this where the Express get their uh, offence on? Because I'm pretty sure the Express are, the, are in sixth place. So as it stands, they'll be playing the Guardians in their first match in the uh, in the uh, the playoffs if they actually get there. That is, because it's not over yet. But I'm sure they're going to want to try and get out of sixth place so they can get an easier team. Because we're in third or fourth, so we we'll play the third or fourth team. So we don't really, really get too much difference. Although the offence is now right back down the side of the Express team, we just bash their uh, one of their plays out of the way. Go back towards the goal again, and that uh, was shot there just re reverse that, but the ball gets cleared. So, I wasn't really thinking they could, could make anything of that, but then you never know until the ball gets cleared out. And the ball is still going towards the goal. Wolf has another shot, he just gets saved there though by Sabretooth. At least that's what the other notifications are saying. Didn't quite see that shot myself though. Oh, the ball now is being right down towards our goal, but I think he's going towards the corner so we can keep away from our goal. That's the shot. And we get smashed out there by Wolfie. Wolfie meant to hit the ball, not me, and a great save from Slider. I'm really lucky that they didn't, they didn't capitalise on that. They could have had an easy goal right there. Although they've now got open goal, which is really annoying, uh, annoying the beats, now annoying Brock Lesnar, it seems. And Wolfie once again is steaming in now with the second goal, and we get the assist once again. Which is yeah, which was just, just annoying the beast. And Wolfie once again, a full head of steam. And she just straight past uh, Beast, who then became the keeper. He's going to be pretty annoyed with himself, I imagine, after all of that. And then we're starting in the middle this time, so nothing really we can do. Let's hope that the ball doesn't come towards us. And uh, well, that, you're just coming to our side, though. We're going to go for shot list. We do. That's, that's really in line with their goal. Don't tell me that's going to go in. It's going to go for the bounce over the keeper. He does. We get the third goal out of the match. We got, what's that, three goals now. In a minute and a half, we get the long goal as well. Those kind of goals, they are my favourite because you're not even planning for it. Just in line with the goal and there's nothing that the, uh, the other team can do about it to actually stop it. Now then, starting in the middle once again, so I imagine it's going to be a good place for me. It's definitely better than starting up front as I've seen it recently. The ball though, it doesn't really go anywhere. It goes over straight in the air, but in terms of position gain, that comes now into our side. Now you get back up now into the goal just in case you get the ball comes towards us, which he does then. Wolfie again. Wolfie with a nice clear shot then. Wolfie. He's really on it in this match. I mean, he was, he was a bit lackluster in, in the previous few matches. And he's really showing up now to this one again. Aerial hit for like, what's that, the fifth one in 33 rounds. Probably something like that. Anyway, I'm usually not good at wall shots. You know, some of the names go for sure. Oh, I just missed it there from Slider, I think that was. He's a, everyone's going for the shot now. I mean, Wolfie's, yeah, I think he's pretty much woken the uh, Slider and Sundown up. Oh, that's been right hand towards the car. Try and keep it away. And he does go to the side, so maybe not to keep it off themselves because their shots weren't on target. I mean, I, they've had like one shot so far. We've had three or four, so yeah, we've definitely been the best side so far in this first first half of the match. And the ball's right back down. So they're gone now once again. You know, it was pretty much crowding around the ball here. Now it gets the ball hit out. Trying to go through now over this side. No, we just get to it too late. In well, I think honestly, it got cleared there anyway. So even if we did hit it, it would have just been shot straight out of the way once again. And once again, it was slider there that went for a shot that time. Now then, we're still back down towards our side. Now we need to go for a clear shot here. If we do get the hit, and he will we clear the ball out of the way of the goal, so it's out of the firing line at least. And he does actually make his way there into the side of the Express. And then he, goes, and he comes straight back into our side one hit later, so. Well, we got it out momentarily. At least it's still not in line with the goal, which is honestly the main thing. And it's still all around the corners. Any time we come to our side, it's always really been in the corner. It's not really been anywhere else in our half, really. Not really around the middle or anything. And the ball's been down into the corner once again, trying to give a shot. No, the ball goes round right underneath us. We, uh, I completely missed that one. I've got my aerial here. I've done one good thing off a wall shot in this match, and it probably won't happen again before the uh, the end of the championship anyway. And nice there for Wolfie. So Wolfie really being just everything so far. And excuse me, they're going to, going to be like that now, is it? Just because you're losing 3 0. I'm the one that gets pulled up, honestly. Why are friendly. one? Well, it's not friendly fire, is it? It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, well, I forgot what I was the, the explosions and that, but I don't know what the actual term for them is. But why are they, why are they a thing? They really just don't need to be. Uh, trying to get a fish out here. No, we just hand back and then wait for something else to happen. Actually, that's going to, that's a nice shot right towards the goal. We're going for it now. We're back out there because I don't want a goal steal. On Slider gets his first goal of the match. I was just following that shot just in case one of the other players from the Express came into shot. 
but I was always going to let it stay whoever touched it last. And it was sliding against his spot. As you know, it's just Sunday. I need to get a goal now. I mean, with 4 0 up, honestly, being 4 0 up is great because after the, uh, the results of the last match as well, we try and get some more uh, good uh, goal hits on the board. Okay, that's going right towards our goal. And that's going to go in our goal. And Roundhouse, he puts the Express team with a lucky shot on the on the score sheets anyway. Pretty much, that is actually, that's my second favourite shot. It was just, just a cluster around the ball. He's coming to smash it straight into the other person's goal. Uh, then we're talking of goals, that's where we're starting now with 1 minute 20 left on the clock. Uh, can we just wait? Well, we have to wait for the ball to come towards us, and it does. So we try and get for a shot here. No, it's, it's definitely not in line for us, but it's going towards the corner once again, so we can come out of goal and try and get for a shot clear. Well, we hit it, but it doesn't actually go anywhere close. Actually, it ends up being close. Actually, that's a lot of playing the hanging around goal. Can we get for a shot? Yes, we do. I think we block it there. That's tough to wait for the shot on goal. A nice clear shot there from Wolfie. He takes it out of firing line. Well, direct firing line. Although it's going out towards the goal. And now Slider with a nice save. So, uh, I think it's just a uh, sundown injury. isn't really doing all too much in this match. Still, there's a minute. Well, there's 50 seconds now left to actually change that. There's ball coming towards the goal. Three was now going for a shot here. Going to get for a shot. Trying to just juke everyone. And Slider gets his second goal now. I'll imagine three of us went down there just to confuse the uh, the goalkeeper because three of us could possibly go for the ball. Slider there went for the initial hit and trying to uh, one of the players that uh, I faked a shot there and it worked. And now we've got our four shot advantage back. Now then, can we go for another first touch? Try and get some more good offense going because if we can get any more goal difference, then I'm not going to say no to extra goals. They could prove critical come the end of match 36 if we're still in the Tulsi studies. But honestly, even if we lose all the matches now after this one, because of course we've got this one, and I'm not going to jinx it by saying that, but surely we've got this one now under wraps. If we, even if we lose the next three games, I'm pretty sure we're still in the playoff places anyway. Now there's only five seconds left, and the, uh, the Express we've got a score gone now by every five seconds. And of course, the more the time goes on, the more it just falls into our favour. Looking down to the side of the pitch, the goal's probably empty. Oh, just great block actually there from. Uh, from Sabretooth there, because honestly, I was just going to whip that round again for another shot and goal. Looking for the shot goal, come on! It was, we could have got that once again, this is going for like ultimate defence now, because we can't afford to lose any more goals in the field. So honestly, at this point in the championship, losing four goals is honestly crippling. That's going right towards the goal once again. We just going to show, trying to go for a uh, wild anarchy. That was going to go in, if there was a little bit, little bit of time left. But Wolfie though, really unsurprisingly, gets Carl of the match. And we're down in third place for the end, that's a slider already came on strong in the, uh, the, the second half of that match, and Sundown didn't really see too much of him. It's time to go up against the Rose then, okay, in the next match. As the uh, the Skyhawks beat the Bombers, the Monarchs beat the Rebels, the Rovers did get a win over the Seekers, and the Guardians, unsurprisingly, got a win over the Dragons. It did a perfectly good fight to it to end 5-3. And even if we lose now the remaining matches, we are now actually in the, uh, the top six, so that's a bit of pressure off. As the Guardians, unsurprisingly, still lead with a four game win advantage over the Monarchs and the Skyhawks, and we're in fourth, the Express and Dragons in the playoff places. And actually, the Bombers are in a uh, get into the top six battle with the Dragons, and their, their goal difference is a lot worse, so they're going to need to get in on a win loss ratio. And you've got the Rebels in eighth with the Seekers in ninth, and the Rovers down at the bottom of the table. Actually, I think it was the Bombers for some reason, but the Rovers are actually the team in last. Okay, never, forget everything I just said. I thought the Rovers were the Bombers for a second then. Either way, if you enjoyed this match, definitely uh, leave a like on this video, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're new, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And follow me on Facebook, or Twitter, and Instagram, they will link down below in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.